guys welcome to my channel so this video is a tutorial on how I got this wig done now I know there are thousands of videos on how to make a wig on YouTube however I decided to do mine because mine is mine so I just decided to film how I got this wig done so I could show it to my beautiful beautiful subscribers I know it's nothing new you probably have seen thousands of videos already from other channels on how to get a wig done but I decided to film this anyways so before I get into the tutorial I want to talk about the wig a little bit now this is a kinking curl I have on uh, 18 16 14 and 212 so that's five bundles of hair and a 10 inch closure pretty much that's it so I hope you enjoy my tutorial on how I got this wig so I start off by putting the closure in front and pinning it down and then I just go ahead to sew around it. Once I've had the closure sewn around the cap the next thing I usually do is start sewing the bundles from the front. I usually start off sewing my bundles from the front because I just love it that way. I love to have the front secured before I start sewing the back of the hair. And as you can see, I already sewed one track of the hair to the closure which I didn't film I'm sorry about that I actually thought I filmed it so I am just basically showing you what I do after sewing in the closure so I just start off from the front I sew about three to four tracks in front and then I start sewing the back of the hair so that's what I am going to do with this one. So I am done sewing my tracks in front. I think I sewed three tracks and now I am just going to start up sewing the back of the hair. Now when I sew the front I usually cut the weft but I do not cut the weft when I am sewing the back. So once I put the three to four tracks in front that's the only time I cut my weft. Once I start the back, I do not cut my weft. Now I am just going to start off with the back of the hair. So I am just going to keep sewing until my hair is complete and again I do not cut the weft as you can see I am just sewing the weft like just folding and sewing it I am not cutting I'm just gonna sew around it and I'll be back once I am done sewing the entire bundles on the cap see you soon so now I am done and I put my middle part already usually when I sew in my wigs I usually put a middle and a side part so that way I could wear the wig on a middle part and a side part So I am just going to define the part a little bit by using a tweezer to take out a little bit of strands 
and when you do this you want to be as careful as possible so you don't rip your closure when you take out the strand you want to take out one to two strands at a time you don't want to take out more than that because you might rip your closure which you don't want to do so I'm just gonna keep doing that until my part is defined and when I'm done I am just going in with my LA girl pro concealer to define the part and make it look a little bit natural now once I'm done with that I am just going to blend it in with an eyeshadow brush Now when you finish doing that, the hair is going to appear a little rough as you can see because you're going to have the concealer around the um, parts of the hair. Don't worry about that. What I usually do is I get my eyeliner and I just put a little bit around the parts area not on the parts but just close to it and I am using my eyeliner because this is a black hair if it was a uh, colored hair I am not gonna use my eyeliner I am just gonna use a sheen and just try to get that out with my mascara brush so after putting your eyeliner you just want to use your mascara brush to you know smoothen it and as you can see, all of those lines are gone and you have a well-defined part. So that's how I get my wig done. And as you can see, this is the finished product of the hair. This is what the hair looks like. And my part is well-defined. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys. Bye.